Chapter 4, Mission of 4. Each year's communal offerings were bought from the Teruma funds withdrawn three times during that year from the treasury chamber containing the Shikalan. The mission now discusses what is done with any of this money that is left over when the year ends, and the new Shikalan come in. The Mishnah will present several opinions, beginning with the opinion of the Tanakama. We now turn to the words of the Mishnah. What did they do with the surplus of the previous year's Terma funds? They used these funds to buy gold that was hammered into plating and used to cover the walls, floor, and ceiling of the Holy of Holies. The previous Mishnah taught that, according to Rabbi Ishmael, the surplus funds of the remainder of the chamber were used to buy wines, oils, and fine flour to be sold to people who needed them for their personal offerings. The Mishnah will now first teach what was done with the profits gained through these those sales. According to Rabbi Ishmael, and then present Rabbi Ishmael's dissenting opinion of what was to be done with the surplus Terumah funds. Rabbi Ishmael says the profits earned from the sale of the fruits, i.e. from the sale of the wines, oils, and fine flour brought with the surplus of bought with the surplus of the remainder of the chamber, were used to buy communal Ola offerings for the desert of the altar. Ola offerings that are brought on days when few offerings are being brought so that the altar should not be left idle. And the surplus Terumah funds are used to buy service vessels, bowls and the like that are used in preparing the offerings. A third opinion regarding the use of the surplus Terumah funds. Rabbi Akiva says the surplus Terumah funds are used to buy communal Ola offerings for the desert of the altar. And surplus wines, oils, and fine flour that were bought by the temple for communal Nesachim offerings, but are extra, are sold. And the funds from these sales are used to buy service vessels. Another opinion. Rabbi Hanania, the deputy, Kohen, deputy of the Kohanim, says the money from the surplus Nesachim is used for the desert of the altar, and the surplus Teruma funds are used to buy service vessels. Neither Rabbi Kiva nor Rabbi Haninya, the deputy of the Kohanim, agree with Rabbi Ishmael with regard to the profits of the fruits. They both maintain that we do not do business with temple funds by buying and selling supplies. Therefore, according to them, there are no profits of the fruits to be used for the desert of the altar.